the Society of African Missions, SMA Formation House, in Zambia, is located in Kabwe, in a residential area called Dallas. Its location is in the heart of Kabwe, about two kilometers off Great North Road. It houses students doing the preparatory year program and those studying philosophy. This documentary displays the life of students at this house in line with the three pillars of formation. In the picture is Reverend Father John Stephen Denve, SMA, the student's director. I would like to welcome you all to Father Bernard Weiger's SMA House of Formation located in Kabwe, Zambia. Our House of Formation has 11 students in residence. They participate in two programs. We have a preparatory year program which lasts for a duration of nine months and we have the philosophical program which lasts a duration of two years where our students attend St. Augustine's major seminary in Kabwe. The breakdown of our 11 students is as follows. There are five preparatory year students in residence. There are two first year philosophical students in residence and there are four second year philosophical students in residence. There are two members of staff responsible for the functioning of SMA House of Formation. Our superior is Father Beno Monje from Togo in West Africa. Father Beno arrived in Zambia in August in 2021 to take up this new appointment. I am the second member of staff in the SMA House of Formation. My name is Father John Denver. I am from Ireland and I arrived in Zambia on the 11th of November 2021 to take up my new appointment in Zambia. The house centers its programs solely on the spiritual formation of students. Brother Tresford Muela, the student in charge of liturgy, would guide us through some of the spiritual activities of the house. It is very important for us to have a spiritual formation and this spiritual formation is provided for us in the in the seminary by means of mass we have mass every day we also have a liturgy of the hours morning prayer evening prayer and night prayer on saturdays we have rosary and uh, on sunday, certain sundays we have uh, adoration for one hour all this is to in, in, enrich our spiritual formation because at the end of the day we'll be spiritual leaders and we need a fortified spirit ourselves SMA Formation Charter also demands that seminarians training for missionary priesthood have a solid human formation. The house meets this end in providing the students with manual work, sports, gardening, and other human based activities. My name is Michael Chikoti. I'm the first year student and I'm the man in charge, in charge of sports. Uh, I'm nearby to talk about the games we have in our community here. So we have two types of games in our community. We have uh, the indoor games and the outdoor games. We are, first of all, I'll talk in the indoor games. The indoor games we have chess, we have draft, and many more. So these indoor games, the reason we have them they are there to help us in sharpening our mind. The outdoor games we have football, and these outdoor games they are there to help us in 
social interaction and they are keeping our bodies fit as you can see here we have a garden we water during uh, this time the same time of manual and uh, we have some other works within the community we clean up the compound just to make it safe for us and uh, to make it clean and we have corn field that side there are people that side working from there from there they are moving the corns that side We have three types of meals a day, that is breakfast, lunch, and supper. During lunchtime, we have what we call Zambian staple food, which is in Shima. And supper, we have light food, like rice, Irish potatoes, and so on. These two types of meals, which is lunch and supper, uh, is being prepared by our cook, who happens to work from Monday to Saturday. And then on Sundays, we cook for ourselves as students and the other public holidays because it is very important for a person being trained as a missionary to know how to cook because you might be sent for mission where you will be alone as a missionary and don't have anyone to, to be helping you with the cookings, so you are supposed to cook for yourself. A priest is a leader of people of different caliber. He ministers to both the learned and those with little or no education. In any case, he too should have a stable academic ground. The preparatory program students have classes at the formation house. These classes are handled by the two members of staff and other non-SMA lecturers. These students are also required to acquire some skills during their propagatic stage of formation. As such, they go to a skills center located in Kawe's Natseko area. On the other hand, the students of philosophy acquire their academic formation at St. Augustine's Major Seminary, Mpima, where they do a two-year program in philosophy and religious studies. This is the National Philosophicum which is run and owned by the National Episcopal Conference. This school is eight kilometers away from the SMA house in Dallas. As such, seminarians use bicycles to go for their studies. The house at one point was led by its own product. The previous superior of the house was a Zambian. This is Reverend Father Don Piri, SMA. He spent eight years at the formation house and he shares his experience. Uh, my name is uh, Father Don Piri, SMA. I was ordained in 2008. And after my, my ordination, I was sent to Liberia, where I spent five years. And after that experience uh, of five years as a missionary, I was brought back to Zambia here to be in charge of uh, the Father Bernard Wigger Formation House. And I spent eight years here now. I've left, I'm in Kenya doing my counseling psychology. 
And uh, talking about my experience, you know, of uh, this formation house, uh, which I'm visiting now as I'm on my holiday, I would say that uh, it was a very rich experience, you know, accompanying uh, these uh, young guys who had uh, felt this call to leave their own country, the Zambians, to go and bring the good news to other countries. So for me, it was that uh, it was the kind of uh, an overwhelming and a very rich experience. We used to get zeros guys who used to come, and from the uh, eight eight years I spent, I had 54 students, and from 54, I'm happy that two are going to be ordained uh, uh, this year in, 2000, in 2022 as priests, and one actually today is going to be ordained as a deacon in Kenya. So. Uh, I'm very happy that I can see the fruits of uh, uh, the work uh, that I was doing here. And uh, thanks to the congregation, the SMA, for the support, you know, financial support, moral support, and the different kinds of uh, support that we used to see. And especially also help from uh, our benefactor, especially the FVC, you know, who put money together to ensure that uh, our students, you know, do their formation you know, to become missionaries. May God bless them and we'll continue to pray for them. Uh, and uh, I'm very sure they also pray for us. Thank you so much. Greetings from Kabwe. I'm uh, Father Benoit Monji, SMA from Togo. Here, I'm the superior of uh, this our formation house in Zambia. And we have come uh, to an end of this our academic year throughout this year we joined with our seminarians as disciples of christ following the footsteps of christ discovering the will of god in our lives here we promote a balanced life whereby our students are trained in all the different aspects of mission. They follow the program whereby they know what they can do or take their own initiatives so that the formation will be auto-formation. And at the end of this year, we would like to thank first the God Almighty for being with us throughout this year. Because the year has not been easy. We have gone through COVID situation, but his favor was with us. And we have come to an successful end of this year. So once again, we would like to take this opportunity to thank the General Council our families, friends and supporters, all those who have been with us, supporting us throughout the year. We are very grateful. We pray that uh, the good law may reward you by granting you the favor that you ask for yourselves and for your families. As we are closing this uh, program of uh, documentary, we assure you of our prayers. We always pray for you. We ask you also to continue praying for us so that we may be good disciples of Christ. Thank you very much. May God bless you and keep you safe.